back to the Institute of Bricks. Today we will be reviewing Man the Mandalorian Battle Pack, set number 75267 with 102 pieces. First, we will be reviewing the land speeder here, which I like because it looks like the Mandalorian land speeder from the Clone Wars TV series, except it looks more run down. It has two stud shoes on the front, a light, a handlebar, and a nice engine on the back. It's a very easy build, so yeah. Here is a piece of land where you can plop a minifigure in and mount a gun as a turret, as shown right here. You can just mount, poke it into the little hole, and it's a turret, which, you, which your minifigure can use to shoot. Also, there is a handle here to store guns. One of the minifigures is a green Mandalorian. He has a silver lined helmet underneath his head, and all the heads are just black. A cape with mild printing on the back, and all the minifigures come with a stud shooter. Another minifigure is the blue Mandalorian with specks of dark blue on it. It has silver Baskar plating, um, like a tannish on your skin, and then pads on its legs, if you can see it there. And then if you turn it around, you can see its greenish cape with a back. He has a stud shooter, and I think this minifigure is snazzy. Another minifigure is a gray Mandalorian with an orange lining around her visor, a blue chest plate, bluish pants, a black cape, and a blue back plate. That is it. The final minifigure is a Mandalorian with silver lining around his helmet, a orange helmet, a orange reddish chest plate, black arms, no more like brown arms, a gray body for most of it, a brownish cape, and on the back, sort of like an orange, bronze, sort of colored back plate. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Bye!